So we got some good news for Milwaukee Buck fans. Um, some very unfortunate news for Houston Rocket fans. So the Houston Rockets have traded PJ Tucker to the Milwaukee Bucks in exchange for DJ Augustine, DJ Wilson, and Rodion's Karuks. I might have butchered that name. Um, the writer for this was obviously, you know, the go of NBA reporting Adrian Wojnarowski. Um, and this year, Nate, I'm gonna pull up PJ Tucker's stats real quick. Um, PJ Tucker's stats. All right, so this year he's averaged 4.4 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, and 1.4 assists. So you know what, Nate? I'll start off with you. Your thoughts on PJ Tucker being traded to the Bucks? Uh, well, first of all, congratulations to PJ Tucker, uh, and in the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, I think this is a very great team for him to go to. Uh, because you know the Bucks are on the top of their on the top of their conference with the Nets and the Sixers. Um, you know, the, um, you also got to remember the the Houston Rockets are not playing good basketball right now. Um, they're they're on an 18 game losing streak, I believe it is. Yeah, it's 18 game losing streak. So, while he has been a, a huge contribution uh, to the Houston Rockets, the Houston Rockets have not been playing good basketball. And uh, yeah, now he's now he's finally getting another chance in Milwaukee, a team that's that's bound to make the playoffs, a team that can you know you can consider a championship contender if you want. But I think this is a great fit for PJ Tucker, and I do wish him the best of luck. Uh, in Milwaukee, and go up to them in the Bucks. Not too much luck, though, because my Celtics still need to kind of, you know, pick up the pace. But with that being said, you know, best of luck to TJ, uh, PJ Walker in Milwaukee, and I'm excited to see how he plays. Yeah, um, best of luck to PJ Tucker, you know. Um, obviously, when a player gets traded, obviously, obviously, there's a lot of emo uh, emotions and feelings going through, going through you, especially the fact that PJ Tucker has played for the Houston Rockets for so long. Um, going back to his career, he's been playing with the uh, the Houston Rockets since 2017. Uh, from 2006 to 2016, he was with Toronto. So obviously, this is um, obviously him being traded is going to have a big effect on the Houston Rockets. But honestly, Nate, I don't even know what the Houston Rockets are doing at this point because you. So like, we'll start from the beginning of the year, okay? Well, we'll start from before the beginning of the year. You get rid of um Russell Westbrook. You ship him off to Washington in exchange for John Wall. Right. Then you get rid of James Harden. OK, so once you get rid of James Harden, you end up getting Victor Oladipo in that three way trade. Now you're getting rid of you got you've gotten rid of uh, DeMarcus Cousins and P.J. Tucker. I don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't know. Like It's not a rebuild because you got two stuff because because I consider Victor Oladipo and John Wall two stars. Um, It's not considered a rebuild because you got them. It's not considered like, you know, like getting the best team because you got rid of your best player. So I don't know what the Houston Rockets are doing at this point. Obviously, P.J. Tucker wasn't performing like he like he should have been, which which is probably a big reason why he was uh, shipped off. Um, P.J. Tucker has never really been what you consider like a, like a star. He's never been considered like um, like how am I supposed to say? He's never really been considered a star. He's never really been considered like. How am I supposed to say like a, like even a third guy, you know, like a third star in that team. But let me tell you something. PJ Tucker is, is is a veterans veteran. I think the Houston Rockets are going to miss him very much. Obviously, obviously he's um he's a pretty good shooter at that. He can do a little bit of everything. Um, personally, me, I'll say this though: if PJ PJ Tucker is the has the best shoe collection, I think out of everybody I've ever seen. This man's got over 5,000 pairs of shoes, and it's like absolutely amazing. So you know what? I gotta, I gotta absolutely like tip my cap off to cap off to him on that, considering the fact that I'm, I love shoes, especially Jordans. And PJ Tucker just collects and collects and collects. You know, so credit to him with, and he saved up his money pretty well because he's actually built a lot of uh, career earnings. So I gotta give PJ Tucker a lot of credit on that. But I think Houston Rockets are definitely gonna miss him. As for the Milwaukee Bucks. I think this kind of helps them a little bit. You get another veteran on the team. You get a guy who can do a little bit of everything, you know, kind of take the weight a little bit off of Giannis. So I think personally this was a good trade. And as for DJ Augustine, um, DJ Wilson, and I think it's Raidu, uh, Rodion's Karuks, they're going to be going to the Houston Rockets. And it gives the Houston Rockets a lot of a lot of good, like, I want to say, like, bench depth, you know, because DJ Augustine is a very good point guard coming off the bench. Um, DJ Wilson is, is a pretty good bench player coming off. And then obviously Rodion's Karuks. I don't know too much about him, but you got three new guys who can come off the bench and 
create some productivity. So I think it really helps both teams here. It's just the only thing is I don't understand what the Houston Rockets are doing. You know, I don't know if they're rebuilding. I don't know if they're trying to like save money. I really don't know. But I mean, um, it was kind of a shocker to hear about PJ Tucker being traded considering this is like the first trade that has happened like during the season this year. Well, not during, excuse me, not the first trade. Obviously James Harden's happened, but like this is like the se- this is basically the second trade that's happened during this season. So it was kind of shocking to me that PJ Tucker uh, was traded. But whether it was shocking or not, I wish PJ Tucker the best of luck in Milwaukee. I wish DJ Augustine, DJ Wilson, and Ro- Dion's Karooks. I wish them the best of luck in Houston. And I'm curious to see how it's going to play out.